Nobody saw Rachel Ray's world domination coming. The short, bubbly ball of energy has an empire of magazines, TV shows, and websites that perhaps only the mighty Oprah eclipses. Given Ray's humble beginnings and seemingly grounded disposition, it's easy to see why she's become popular. But don't imagine you know everything about her. Here are some things you may not have known about Rachel Ray. Prodigy Many of Ray's signature character traits developed early in her life. Ray owes her raspy voice to a childhood illness, and her rebellious attitude was on full display even as a kid. She was once kicked out of the Girl Scouts in part because she made up dirty lyrics to a Girl Scout song. And it will come as no surprise to learn that she used her bubbly, go-getter personality to become a high school cheerleader topping the pyramid. It was in the kitchen, however, that she truly flourished as a youth. While she was growing up, Ray's parents owned a restaurant. After they divorced, Ray helped her mother Elsa run a number of eateries in upstate New York. She put her knowledge of cuisine to good use, making and selling delicious gift baskets while still in high school. Looking to pursue a career in food, she dropped out of college and got a job in Macy's Gourmet Food Market in Manhattan. It looked like her career path was set, but fate had other ideas. From Victim to Victory after being mugged twice, Ray decided to quit New York City entirely. She told Good Housekeeping, I felt like the whole universe was telling me, you're not supposed to be here right now. Instead, she moved upstate to Albany and got a job as a food buyer at a gourmet food store. It was there that she had the idea to teach cooking classes. That led to appearances on local TV, which led to a guest spot on The Today Show, which led to landing her own series on the Food Network. Funny how things work out. She isn't a chef. It might be hard to believe, but Rachel Ray is quick to point out that she is not actually a chef. She has no formal culinary training, something she stresses so as not to take away from classically trained chefs. I can think of no greater motivation in the world to get you guys into your kitchen than macaroni and cheese. There are some things she can't cook. Ray might appreciate the simple things in life, but that doesn't mean she knows how to make them. The cooking guru has admitted that there are some basic food staples she simply can't prepare. She told Mediaite that when she brews coffee, it looks like mud or pee, and that she has been known to set bread on fire when trying to toast it. Hey, it could be worse. Get in there, Sonny! Beat that! <laughs> Family Matters Ray talks a lot about her family, particularly her mother Elsa. She's also been known to name dishes after her younger brother Manny, while her older half-sister Maria writes recipes for the Rachel Ray website. Still, when it comes to family versus career, there's no contest for Ray, who prioritizes her work. She told Good Housekeeping that when she was dating, she would dump any guy who wanted to be put first. Luckily, she married musician John Cusimano in 2005, who she says is the perfect match because he doesn't mind playing second fiddle to a stovetop. I can't give a man an enormous amount of attention, and John is totally down with that. But Ray's commitment to work over family has caused her some controversy and personal pain as well. Magnet for Controversy in 2013, Ray's aunt Geraldine suffered a fatal heart attack while house-sitting for Ray's mother, Elsa. Geraldine's daughter, Gina, blamed the Ray family for neglect, and the hard feelings were made worse when Ray elected to film her cooking show rather than attend her aunt's funeral. That's just one of many occasions Ray has drawn controversy over the course of her career. On her breakout show, $40 a day, Ray often ruffled feathers with her tiny tips, sometimes leaving as little as 7% for the hard-working wait staff serving her. In 2003, Ray's decision to do a photo shoot for FHM magazine caused a firestorm among her fans, while in 2009, Ray somehow generated a national controversy simply by wearing a headscarf in a Dunkin' Donuts commercial. That one may have been downright silly, but the charges brought against her pet food company in 2017 were no laughing matter. A class action suit alleged that the claims made by her Nutrish label saying that the pet food contains no artificial flavors or artificial preservatives are misleading. That's because the food actually contains quote unnatural ingredients, and a separate suit alleged that recovering addicts in the Christian Alcoholics and Addicts in Recovery program were forced to to work without pay for Nutrish, among other national brands. Neither suit has been resolved as of the making of this video. Made in America Despite the controversy she's endured, Ray still isn't afraid to mix food with politics. In 2016, she explained to CNBC her decision to base her furniture line in the United States. The American public is fed up with being underemployed. I think our employment rates keep rising, but we have skilled people that are doing jobs that are not skilled. I think we've been frustrated as a country to bring jobs back, and I think we're on a good path. More and more you see Made in America. We certainly try as a company to do our part to get it made here and bring jobs back here. She has a budding acting career. If Ray's gig as a celebrity cook ever ends, she has a fallback career as an actor. Besides playing herself on shows like Gilmore Girls, 30 Rock, and Young and Hungry, she also made her film debut in 2017 as the voice of Spam in the animated Emoji Movie. Now that's yummo! Thanks for watching! Click the mashed icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!